me today? Sure. Okay, so we got most of the ceiling up. I went back and forth on whether we were gonna use wood filler. We ended up using wood filler, which is like... Sorry, <laughs> I to fix my hair. <laughs> I can't handle that. We ended up using wood filler, which is like a stainable kind. If you watch a lot of our videos, you know that I've probably mentioned that I've done a lot of woodworking in the past. I've never used this filler before. And once we put it in all of the nail holes on the ceiling, it uh, the the filler actually stained the wood in that little area, kind of orange. Now we've got to hit every single area really, really good to get all of that filler out of there. And we're hoping that the sanding doesn't affect the way that the stain goes on so it's not going to be a different color in the spots that have been sanded and haven't but yeah. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how that works out. Because we're going to stain it. Uh, if you start sanding it, it can get blotchy in certain areas and it doesn't look very good. So because we're having to really sand certain areas, now we're having to just really sand the whole ceiling to make sure it's consistent and not blotchy. Like, embrace the nail holes. Is your arm getting tired? My arm is getting tired. So after a couple of hours of sanding, the ceiling is finally done. Should go on there pretty smooth and pretty evenly now, but only one way to find out. So we got a huge portion of the ceiling stained last night. We're really digging it. There's a few spots that are a little bit darker than the rest, but overall, I think it looks great. The ceiling's gonna be dark, the flooring is gonna be dark, and the walls are gonna be like a bright white. The ceiling's gonna be almost like an accent. But today I'm gonna work on getting these lamp lights uh, raised up a little bit higher in the wall. When we wired everything, we put them about right here in the wall with the switch directly under it. But I realized that that was gonna be just a little bit too far down. I've gotta cut a hole into the wall, which is totally fine. All this is gonna be covered up with shiplap. Put a box up here and wire everything. And I may go ahead and install those lights just to get them up and see how they're gonna look.
little short, but it might work. Might work. It might work. Just have to put it in the wall first. Let's see if it's too short. If it's not, we're going to use it. these lights installed. The next thing that we're gonna do is focus on getting the ceiling in this area right here. There's some weird angles here that we're gonna have to compensate for. I'm pretty sure that we're just gonna leave spacing in this joint right here and this joint right here. And we're gonna cover up those joints with something whenever all the ceiling is up. Primarily because it's gonna be incredibly difficult to make this perfect without hiding that seam, without hiding that joint somehow, because there's really no reference point to make sure all of these angles and cuts meet up perfectly. So we bought five kitchen cabinets at Home Depot today. Daddy, what did Memo do to her flowers? I don't know. What did she do? She like put them out of these. She put it out of this. I don't know, babe. So yeah, as much as I would love to be able to say I built the kitchen cabinets for this bus, we're just trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time. It does kind of suck knowing that uh, I can build cabinets, but this option is just gonna be a lot quicker and easier. So that's why we took this route. Me and Jay are so ready to be done.
Okay, so we bought countertops the other day, but we gotta cut them down. Uh, this section right here is about 10 feet long, and the only thing I could buy are two six foot pieces. So we're gonna put the seam where the sink is gonna go, and um, that way it's less noticeable and you don't see the entire seam. So now we gotta take them back out of the bus and cut them down. I hate cutting down uh, countertops because um, if you mess up, it's not like it's a piece of plywood and you can go grab another one. You want to cut the pieces? No. It's all you, babe. You got this. Okay.